defining the nth term of a geometric sequence. The first three terms of a progression are 3, 6, 12, continuing on. What is the value of the tenth term? Well, the tenth term is the tenth position, and so we're going to say n equals 10. And check this out. Here's the formula we need. We need a sub n equals a sub 1 r n minus 1. Now, n is the position in the list of numbers. The tenth term, n equals 10. A1 stands for the first position, and the first position here is 3. So A sub 1 is 3. R, R is the ratio. So if you're in a geometric sequence, you're either multiplying or dividing. In this case, we're going from 3 to 6 to 12. Well, you're kind of going up, so you're multiplying because 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. So you keep multiplying by 2. I see the pattern. So your ratio is 2. So now we're going to work with these values and plug it into our formula. a sub n, 10th position in the line of numbers. The first number starting is 3. And we're going to times it. How do I know I'm timesing? Because I don't see a plus or a minus or anything else right here. So I know I'm multiplying. Now the r is 2. And then n minus 1. 10 is n minus 1. So a sub 10 equals 3 times 2. 10 minus 1 is 9. a to the 10 power is 3. Now, what is 2 to the 9th? I have no idea. I'm picking up my calculator um, because I'm not a human calculator. And I'm putting in 2 raised to the 9th power. And it's a big number. Not really big, but kind of big. So 2 to the 9th is 512. So 2 to the 9th is 512. Now, if I take 512 and times it by 3, I am going to get 1536. So A sub 10, meaning the 10th position in the list of numbers if I were to continue from 3, 6, 12, and keep multiplying by 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, until the 10th position, I'm going to get 1,536. So now you're an expert. D is the answer. And thank you for watching.